Welcome back to the e-learning on Babok V3.0. We are discussing the first knowledge area, business analysis planning and monitoring. The very first task in business analysis planning and monitoring knowledge area is plan business analysis approach. Let's understand this activity in detail in our subsequent modules. Before we get into details, let us spend a minute to understand the term, approach. What do you understand by the term, approach? An approach provides a path to achieve an objective. In software world, we have two common approaches, waterfall and agile. As business analysts, it's essential we understand both these approaches, their strengths and weaknesses and applicable situations. In waterfall approach, we gather all requirements, do complete design, complete development, complete testing, and then deployment. Waterfall projects typically have a dedicated requirements phase. This may be anywhere between 3 months to 6 months. Similar amount of time would be spent on design phase. Construction phase would typically take double the time. Time required for testing would be similar to requirements phase. Deployment phase would be slightly smaller. Overall, we will end up with project durations ranging anywhere between 2 to 4 years. These are typical numbers. Sometimes projects can even be 5 years long or even longer. What happens during this long duration? Over this long period, few things happen. 1. There are changes in the needs due to changes in marketplace. 2. Marketplaces are changing rapidly due to rapid change in technologies. There are few more aspects that are typical to waterfall approach. Stakeholders do not have any opportunity to use and provide feedback on the product. Finally, when they get to see the product, they discover many missing aspects. It is extremely difficult to specify requirements, especially with respect to usability aspects. Usability aspects are hard to discover without using the product. The primary drawback of the traditional waterfall model was the inordinate long project duration. The second major drawback was, stakeholders typically saw the product only at the end of the project. Now what happens if we divide the projects into many short waterfalls? This is exactly what Agile does. Agile is essentially waterfall in short cycles. There are two major advantages, one, during the course of the project, we can correct our plans if our needs change. 2. Get users' feedback in a prompt manner. To define an appropriate method to conduct BA activities. BA activities include tasks, schedule, responsibilities, and techniques. Guidelines and tools for the task plan business analysis approach are, BA performance assessment, business policies, expert judgment, methodologies, and frameworks, and stakeholder engagement approach. Input for the task plan business analysis approach is needs. Stakeholders for the task plan business analysis approach are sponsor, domain SME, regulator, and project manager. Outputs for the task plan business analysis approach is BA approach. Techniques for the task plan business analysis approach are, brainstorming, business cases, document analysis, estimation, financial analysis, functional decomposition, 
interviews, item tracking, lessons learned, process modeling, reviews, risk analysis and management, scope modeling, survey or questionnaire, and workshops. Business analysis approach may be defined based on organizational standards or methodologies. Organizations usually have formal or informal standards on how to conduct business analysis. It will also have standards on how business analysis fits into project and other activities. As business analysts, we should review existing organizational process assets and tailoring aspects relating to the initiative. These may suggest or mandate the BA approach. If there aren't any existing standards, work with appropriate stakeholders to determine the business analysis approach. After that, work with the project manager and project team to ensure that the business analysis approach is suitable. Is defined during project planning phase. Now, let us understand the characteristics of a good business analysis approach. An effective business analysis approach should align with the goals of the change, coordinate the business analysis tasks with the activities and deliverables of the overall change, have risk mitigation tasks for risks which affect task efficiency. The chosen BA approach should make use of proven tools and techniques. It also should meet organizational process needs and objectives for the initiative. Business analysis approaches can be tailored for the initiative. This can be done as per organizational process tailoring guidelines. Business analysis approach is usually based on, or related to the project approach. But it can also be independent. For example, you can use a plan-driven approach to define business processes. You can then use a change-driven approach to build the supporting software applications. Let's look at some factors which determine the selection of business analysis planning approach. Some of the most common factors are 1. Prior experiences 2. Organization standards 3. Tolerance for uncertainty 4. Complexity and risk of change 5. Regulation pertaining to the industry and 6. Geographic distribution of stakeholders Few more aspects that affect selection of BA approach are 7. Staff experience level and turnover 8. Contractual needs and 9. Intent to reuse business analysis information etc. Remember business analysis approach is not static. It should be revised based on changing business conditions. Babak describes two approaches. They are adaptive approach and predictive approach. Predictive is the waterfall approach that we discussed earlier, whereas adaptive is the iterative approach. Since BA approach have significant impact on how we would conduct business analysis activities, deliverables we will produce, let's understand these approaches in detail. For adaptive approach, authority to approve is typically with a designated person, who could be the product owner. Predictive approach is preferred when, situations are complex, there is high cost of failure, well-defined requirements ahead of implementation is possible, and stakeholder interactions are challenging. Adaptive approach is preferred when cost of failure is low, and requirements are evolving. For predictive approach, typical model is waterfall. For adaptive approach, typical model is agile or iterative. For predictive approach, level of detailing expected is usually high. For adaptive approach, level of detailing is typically low. For predictive approach, change management is formal, through standardized templates. Predictive approach accept change only when, changes are formally justified. For adaptive approach, change management is through prioritized product backlog, and is typically time box driven. For predictive approach, communication is usually formal, documented, and periodic. However, adaptive approach rely on informal and verbal communication. 
communication is also expected to be frequent than periodic, like in predictive approach. Predictive approach usually have formal documentation and documentation is prior to implementation. For adaptive approach, documentation is through interactions, and is flexible to the needs of the project. Formal documentation is post-implementation, and is mainly aimed for maintenance. Predictive approach does not emphasize much on requirements prioritization. Adaptive approach lays great emphasis on requirements prioritization. For predictive approach, milestones are identified initially, and then broken down into tasks. For adaptive approach, deliverables are identified, and then related tasks are identified. For predictive approach, business analysis is performed in specific phases. This phase may be named as requirements phase. For adaptive approach, business analysis is performed iteratively, in each iteration. For predictive approach, solution definition is done prior to implementation. For adaptive approach, solution definition is done in iterations. For predictive approach, Activities for deliverables are broken down to tasks. For adaptive approach, activities for deliverables are divided into iterations, and tasks are identified for iterations. Once BA approach is determined, we need to determine business analysis activities. This is essential as business analysis approach drives business analysis activities. Decompose business analysis activities into tasks for each deliverable, and their iterations. Once we develop BA activity plan, we need to determine timing for business analysis work. This is done as the timing of business analysis activities depend on business analysis approach, resource availability, priority or urgency of initiative, legal constraints etc. Finally, we need to determine business analysis complexity and risk. Factors affecting business analysis complexity are, 1, size of the change, 2, number of stakeholders, 3, culture and geography, 4, number of affected business areas or systems, 5, technological competencies needed, and 6, risks etc. Factors impacting the risks of business analysis effort include, business analysts experience level and domain knowledge, Stakeholders experience level in communicating requirements, stakeholders attitude towards change and business analysis, time allocated to business analysis activities. Other factors impacting the risks of business analysis effort are, chosen business analysis framework, methodology, tools and techniques, cultural norms and practices. The output for planned business analysis approach is, business analysis approach. Business analysis approach identifies business analysis approach and activities, specifies team roles, deliverables, and analysis techniques. Business analysis approach also identifies timing and sequencing of work, deliverables produced, frequency of stakeholder interactions, and other elements of business analysis process. Here is a definition worth remembering. A methodology is, a formalized, and repeatable approach. Review Thank you for completing the topic, Plan Business Analysis Approach. We will continue our exciting learning journey on other BA planning and monitoring activities in our subsequent modules.